Well, it seems that after it took a little bit of a hiatus, Atlantic hurricane season, the tropics are back active at this point. So, yeah, they're they've become active. So we have we have three tropical disturbances we are taking a look at. This is Invest 92L, 93L, and this one that just developed. Uh, this is the first advisory on disturbance three. So we're gonna go through these one by one. First one I want to talk about. We're gonna talk a little bit about is Invest 92L, which I did keep an eye on. I thought about making a video on it. It had a 50% chance of development and everything, but I was I was a little just I just wanted to wait and everything. And it, it looks like since yesterday that chance has dramatically gone down. It was at 50 yesterday. Now it's at 10. So yeah, we're gonna uh, spend not too much time talking about this. We're gonna about 92L. We're gonna talk spend more time talking about 93L because there are some interesting developments going on with that, but. This is the first uh, one we're going to talk about. This is Invest 92L. I'm actually going to go ahead and pull up the satellite imagery for that, uh, for this presentation. You can see right here that some of the outer banks in North Carolina are kind of getting a little bit of hit and miss showers at this point, according to satellites. So, yeah, it's it's not, it doesn't mean very much, but at the same time, it's something to keep a, a good eye on. So, yeah. This is the first one as of 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Sunday, October 10th. Yeah, and I'm t making this video. Actually, this is before I begin. I want to say that this is unfortunately the anniversary, the three-year anniversary of Hurricane Michael's catastrophic Category 5 landfall at Mexico Beach in Florida. So, yeah, three years ago, Michael uh, today, Michael approached Florida. It rapidly intensified to a Cat 5 hurricane made landfall with winds 160 miles per hour and it moved over Georgia as a major hurricane it crossed the Florida bo uh, Georgia border as a cat 3 hurricane with winds 120 miles per hour and that was and it's must I'm if you were guys were affected by hurricane Michael it, in southern Georgia it must have felt been kind of weird like when you, after you went through the eye well looking through the eye of Michael at that point just still a cat 3 hurricane in southern Georgia uh, still as it approached Georgia so yeah, it caused catastrophic damage in parts of the Florida Panhandle, caused major damage across Georgia, uh, southern Georgia. Atlanta was put under a tropical storm warning for the first time in history. So that's fun fact right there. For, there's only one time Atlanta's been, the Atlanta metro area has been under a tropical storm warning, and that was during Hurricane Michael. So, yeah, this is the anniversary of that, and I just wanted to make that make that point out very quickly. Before we get to the video, uh, before we get to the video, we're well, we're kind of already in the video, but yeah, this is the first disturbance right here. Invest 92L, a non-tropical low area located about 75 miles south of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, continues to produce disorganized showers and a few thunderstorms. Recent radar and satellite imagery indicate that the circulation of the low has become less defined since this morning. That's true. It was at 30, a 30 percent chance of development this morning. Now it's at 10. So, there we go. Um, let's see. Uh, dr dry air and stronger upper-level winds are expected to prevent any d further development of the system while it moves slowly northward or northeastward. Yeah, sorry, north northeastward through Monday. Regardless of development, locally heavy rainfall and gusty winds are possible over portions of North Car the North Carolina Outer Banks. I they d uh, whoever wrote this, they had a typo on this. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. It's not. Uh, North Carolina does not have a G at the end of it. It's it's just a typo. So, yeah. I hope they fix that. The North Carolina Outer Banks through Monday and information on these hazards can be found uh, on in products issued by your local National Weather Service office. Additional information of this low pressure system, including gale warnings, can be found in high seas forecast and, and issued by the National Weather Service. Chance of formation, like I said, is 10%. So I'm not too concerned about that. Here's the main. Here's the main uh, one that I've gotten a little interested in. This is 93L. This is what's been popping up over the over the last couple of few hours. This was designated an invest, I believe, this afternoon, and yeah, it's been slowly developing at this point. So you can see that convection right here. We don't like. There's not a lot of information on this, so. In this video, I'm not going to be using any models. I am not going to be, well, I'm not. I'm not going to be showing any models. Like 
there's just one track model on it, and there's like three intensity models on it, and it's not really enough data for me to go off of. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and just uh, go right here to the National Hurricane Center website. 20% chance of development in the next 48 hours. Let's talk about that. As of 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Sunday, October 10th, a tropical wave located a, about a little more than 500 miles east southeast of the Windward Islands continues to produce a large area of disorganized cloudiness and thunderstorms. Environmental conditions are expected to be marginally conducive with, and some limited development could occur over the next day or so while the system moves west northwestward at about 15 miles per hour. At that, at that time, stronger upper level winds are expected to limit further development. The disturbance is forecast to approach the central and northern Lesser Antilles by late Monday and early Tuesday. Regardless of development, this system could produce locally heavy rainfall and gusty winds across portions of the central and northern Lesser Antilles and on Tuesday and across the Virgin Islands and Leeward Islands on Wednesday. Chance of formation throughout the next 48 hours, low 20%. Next five days is not much better. It's 30%. So, yeah, I've, I'm going to continue to keep an eye on it. The National Hurricane Center designated this an invest. You can see that a convection's gotten a little bit better. It's gotten a little more impressive at this point. So I will continue to keep a, a close eye on that. And now we're going to go to the final one, which actually just de uh, de just developed. This is the first advisory the National Hurricane Center put out on this. So this is interesting right here. We're going to talk about this for a second. As of 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, October 10th, another tropical wave located in the Eastern Caribbean Sea is producing a large area of disorganized cloudiness and showers over portions of the Leeward Islands, Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico. Unfavorable upper-level winds are expected to limit any development over the next day or so, but environmental conditions could be a little more conducive for some gradual development of the system while it is located near the southeastern Bahamas around midway, midweek. Regardless of its development, locally heavy rainfall is possible over the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and Hispaniola, which is Haiti and the Dominican Republic. So, over the, so there you have it, that over the next couple of days, 10% chance of the next of development in the next 48 hours. 20% chance of development in the next five days, so I will keep a close eye on that as we get closer to that. Uh, closer to that, so yeah, the Atlantic finally got active again. It took a few, a bit of a hiatus for about a week or so, and now there we go again. It's it's back in action at this point. So that'll be conclude my video. If you have not checked out my documentary on Hurricane Larry already, I recommend you do that. Also, I've just started making my documentary on Hurricane Sam. I'm hoping to get that out by this Friday, so stay tuned for updates on that. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications for more updates.